Hey guys. Hey, uh, the last time well, I did a video like, like this where you're actually looking at me, I was telling you about the, the grazing school that Dale Strickler and I are, are doing and we're doing uh, goat grazing, well, goat and sheep grazing. And uh, he's going to be talking about soil health and cover crops, uh, how to rejuvenate your pastures. Well, I haven't said much about it because uh, we've had to change the date. Actually, I've changed it a couple of times to accommodate Dale's schedule. Um, and so the date now will be, get this right, September 9th through the 13th. Now, our part, the sheep and goat school, the or goat and sheep school, uh, will be the last two days, the 12th and the 13th. And uh, he's going to do the first three days. We'll be meeting at the Dutch Country Cafe in Garnett, Kansas. And now I think the start time is going to be 8.30. I'll, he promised me that we'll have a, a registration website up. Um, Hopefully tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. But tomorrow the next day, and it'll have all the details, the pricing structure, um, and the plan is still that we're going to do half a day, uh, kind of classroom, you might say, and the other half a day is going to be uh, on a farm or ranch, uh, either. I don't know if we'll go down. He's got a farm south of. Garnett, and then we're about, oh, I don't know, 20 miles, maybe 15 miles east of Garnett. So uh, we may come over here for some of the farming uh, or the pasture things also, and then we'll be here for the, the goat school afternoon. Um, hopefully now, later in the September, it'll be cooler than it would be there in August. And we'll be getting close to corn harvest, which uh, may affect us a little bit, but I got two good guys, Travis and Luke, that can can work on that if, if we need to uh, be doing that. But Travis will be involved with the school. He's He's got some things that, you, uh, that you're going to want to know about. The fencing, interior fencing and the smart fence and... and uh, just how we do the uh, rotational grazing system that he's mostly in charge of all that. So, um, hey, I apologize for not been saying any more about it, but you know, we I almost came on and said, hey, we got to change it, and then we had to change it again. And so, but how I'm rel <laughs> relatively certain I haven't seen it print, but it's going to be September 9th through the 13th. Uh, Dale will do the 9th, 10th, 11th, and, you know, he, he's talking about soil health. If you Google Dale Strickler, maybe some of you have his books. He has three very good books. I got each one of them. Um, you know, it, it's all about uh, raising more, more forage on the same property. If you can't afford to buy more land, it's hard to rent more land. Why not spend some money and improve your own land? And sometimes you don't have to spend that money. It's just a way you do things. And then Thursday and Friday, we're going to be getting into the goats and sheep. We have a considerable amount of sheep also. And, and they do overlap, but there are some big differences that uh, you know we'll, we'll talk about and investigate. And so some of you are going to have goats had them for a long time. Some of you may just be thinking about getting them. Um, so we'll have have all that uh, probably for the whole gamut of people that will be here. So again, I apologize for being so quiet about it. Uh, but maybe you understand. And so hopefully, I hope it's tomorrow, that I'll be able to say, hey guys, Go to this website and I'll put it in the description and you'll be able to read more about it, see more about it, and register. Hey, thanks for being patient.